Today we are diving into Midjourney's zoom out feature. As the name indicates, this feature allows you to zoom out on an image, a technique sometimes referred to as outpainting. Zoom out is currently available for images made with Midjourney V5, but I think it's safe to assume that the zoom out feature will be available in future versions as well. Having the option to zoom out adds versatility to your Midjourney image creation. For example, now you can easily step back in a scene that you've created and get a wider view or establishing shot. You can transition from face to full body images and even place characters into different environments. You can overcome cropping issues by zooming out. You can even change the aspect ratio during a zoom out. So if you created a square image, but you really want a three to two aspect ratio, you can use zoom out to change this. And for fun, you can just endlessly zoom out over and over and over again. In this video, we'll cover the basics of zoom out and explore using custom zoom to place characters into different environments. So first let's go to Discord and submit a prompt to Midjourney. We'll just start with a simple scene. We'll do imagine cute forest animal bright colors. And we want to make sure that we use the latest version of Midjourney, which at the moment is version 5.2. So I'll do dash dash 5.2. And let's do an aspect ratio of three to two. And these are the results that we got back from Midjourney. We have four images of cute forest animals. I really like this one in the upper right. So I will go ahead and upscale that one. To do that, I'm going to click the U2 button since that image is the second in the grid of four. And this is our upscaled image. Underneath this upscaled image, you'll see we have some zoom buttons. We have options to zoom out by 2x, 1.5x, my favorite, custom zoom. And because our image is not a square with a one to one aspect ratio, we used the aspect ratio of three to two we also have an option to make it a square, which in our case would just add content to the top and the bottom of the image. Let's see what our forest animal looks like zoomed out. Here's a 2x zoom out on our cute forest animal. You can see how much content Midjourney added to the zoomed out image compared to that starting image. One important thing to know about zoom out is that it's not adding pixels to our image. Although we have a zoomed out image compared to our original, the dimensions of that zoomed out image are the same. I think the most powerful usage of zoom out lies in the custom zoom button. So I wanna demonstrate how you can use custom zoom to place characters into different environments. For this example, it'll be easiest to start with a face. Let's try to get a close up image of a shopkeeper. We'll do imagine face close up, him, portrait. That way we try to get a closer up image, shopkeeper, and photorealistic. And again, we wanna use the latest version of Midjourney, which right now is 5.2. So I'm gonna do dash dash V 5.2. And I'm gonna throw a stylized value of 250 on here. I find that adding a higher stylized value can help to bring out some of that photorealism depending on the prompt. And here are the four images of our shopkeepers that were created. So I'm gonna pick one of these to upscale. This will be our starting shopkeeper image. Rather than clicking on zoom out 2X or zoom out 1.5X, I'm going to click on custom zoom. By clicking custom zoom, we have greater control over the results because we can change the prompt text, the stylized value, aspect ratio, and be more specific with how much we wanna zoom out. For example, if I click on 2x zoom out for our shopkeeper, you can see that the prompt that gets submitted is the same as our original prompt. We are going to use custom zoom to place our shopkeeper into different environments. To do that, I'm going to delete the original prompt text and replace it with a description of an environment. First, I'm gonna to try to put the shopkeeper in a forest. So we'll do forest of pine trees, mountain forest, daytime natural lighting, green spruce trees, just really trying to emphasize the forest. I'm also gonna change the aspect ratio because I want the image to be wider instead of a square. And I'm gonna leave the zoom parameter to two. I still want a two X zoom out. Okay, we'll submit that. 
And while that one is running, I'm gonna submit a few more. And here are the results. So we have our shopkeeper in a forest scene. We've put him in a desert environment. We put him in kind of a cyberpunk future sci-fi environment. We've tried to put him in a white minimalist room. And we surrounded him by cats. And with each of these upscaled images, we can click zoom out on those as well. So we can just keep zooming out over and over and over again. And that wraps up this little tutorial on Midjourney's zoom out feature. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking, subscribing, dropping a comment down below, and I'll catch you in the next one.